Hi, and welcome to the Monday Minute, where we share tips and tricks on how to make your experience with SendSource's people counting system the best that it can be. Today we're going to talk a lot about libraries. Now this is an industry that keeps us at SendSource very busy. We work with over 1,200 libraries across the United States and Canada. And just last week we were in Chicago for the American Library Association Expo and it was such a great conference. Um, it's always so nice to see our existing customers there and meet some maybe potential customers as well. And a reoccurring theme that we heard was, hey, we took out our security gate system and now we need a new way to count patrons coming into our library. So today we're gonna to take it back to basics and answer some of the most common basic questions that libraries may have about automated people counting systems. Let's get right into it. We'll tackle five of the most common questions we hear. In general, one sensor is going to cover a double door entryway, but no two applications are the same. So it's really gonna depend on your library location and what your doorways look like. So a general rule of thumb is the higher the sensor is mounted, the wider its coverage. So depending on how wide your entrance is and where our sensor will be mounted is going to determine how many sensors that you'll need. SenSource can send out a field technician to get those pictures and measurements of your doorway. And there is a small cost with that service. Uh, we also have a project scope survey form that you can complete on your own. And we have a how-to video on how to complete that survey. You can check the link in our bio for the video. It depends on your ceiling height. The higher the sensor is mounted, the wider its field of view. So if you have shorter ceilings, maybe eight or nine feet, then the sensor is really only going to be able to see the width of your entrance. But if you have a really tall ceiling, maybe 10 to 20 feet high, the sensor's coverage is going to be a lot wider. You may even be able to see 23 feet into your space and say you have a very wide entrance, we can stitch sensors together to create a single view. We hear this concern a lot over all of the industries that we serve. In order for the sensor to count, it doesn't need to transmit video. The only time it's going to do that is if we are validating the sensor's accuracy. In this case, our tech support team would schedule a half hour or an hour video recording using an outbound port over secure FTP. The sensor is equipped with additional configuration settings for privacy and we have a whole video to show you those filters. You can check the link in our bio to see those. Yes, our reporting platform allows you to email reports and dashboards to any email address. They don't have to be registered via users. Now this is great because you can share that key patron counting information with people without having to set up and manage additional accounts. Absolutely. With over 1,200 library customers, we've seen pretty much every type of building type and installation. And we also carry a sensor model that can be mounted up to 60 feet high. So if you have very tall ceilings, we can accommodate that as well. And typically to get that conversation started, we would just ask for some pictures and some measurements of your entryway to see what sensor model is gonna work best for you. I just wanted to say thanks again for all of the ALA members who stopped by our booth last week. It really was a pleasure meeting you. And if you didn't get to stop out, I hope that you found this video useful. And if you'd like to learn more about us, please visit sensorsync.com. Also, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos from SenseSource. Thanks for watching. <laughs>